Do you want to move your life forward in the most positive way using astrology? Then let's talk about the astrological patterns for July 2019. And we have a heck of a month coming up, so filled with the opportunity to grow. First, we have two eclipses. One is going to be on July 2nd, and the second one is on July 16th. We have Mars going into Leo on July 1st, and we have Mercury retrograding in Leo on July 7th. So it's a power-packed month. But before I say anything more about July, let's back up for a moment and review what took place in June, because June was so phenomenally dynamic, and it helped prepare us for what's going to happen in July. So in June, we had Mars in Cancer working with Mercury in Cancer, and all of that was in opposition to Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn with a nodal axis involved. The bottom line, I'm sure if you look back at June, you're gonna realize how the energy was a little bit sparky. It was a little bit intense emotionally, right? Not necessarily a bad thing. But what happened in June is we were invited to look at our fears. We were invited to look at our limitations. And that may be different for each person, but we had that invitation and many people felt the intensity. Let's take a look at the first eclipse taking place on July 2nd at 10 degrees of Cancer. Now this is a total eclipse and this is going to be a new moon. So it's really important. There's a level of emotional energy but we're helped by the fact that Mars has moved into Leo. What's so fascinating is Mars and Mercury are going to be working together in July for the first half of the month, but it will be in Leo rather than what took place in June, which was in Cancer. Mars, Mercury working together though, Mars is the warrior planet, the action planet, working with Mercury, the communication planet. We still need to be mindful in July that we aren't ego oriented to the point where we get touchy or thin skinned or angry or reactive with pride because that's the Leo energy, right? So it can be very, very sensitive to insult and it can be highly dramatic when we have Mars and Mercury working together in Leo. Breathe, flow, the best use of that Leo energy is going to be to activate the heart chakra flow energy through that and laugh, develop a sense of humor, focus on happiness, smile more. On July 7th, Mercury goes retrograde in Leo and it's going to back up into Cancer in the middle of the month. So on July 19th, it will retrograde back into the sign Cancer. Then it goes direct, finally at the very end of the month on July 31st. So during this Mercury retrograde, we get to revisit. We get to revisit ego issues. We get to look at where we have confidence and where we might have insecurity. We get to build our level of unconditional love with other people. This Mercury retrograde is phenomenally dynamic because it's working with these two eclipses. Then mid-month, we have the full moon eclipse. Now this is a partial eclipse. It's still very strong though, just because it's not a total eclipse like the one earlier in the month. It's very strong because it's at 24 Capricorn and it's working with Pluto. This is so important to understand we need to step up. I like to say this is when you put your big girl pants on, right? Or your big boy pants. This is when we need to operate at a higher level. This is when we need to bring into the earth plane what we've been working on for the last several months. And we get the opportunity to review our relationship with power because that's Pluto. Are you upset when other people seem to have more power than you? Are you upset when people have more money than you? Are you using power wisely? Are you engaged with power at all? Are you afraid of power? How do you allow power to move through you and do you infuse it with love? All of these questions will come to mind and we're seeing this in the world right now. One thing about that eclipse on the 16th is that Mars and Leo will be square Uranus. So again, we have this touchiness, we have this volatility and you wanna make sure your pride issues, your ego are infused with love so that you don't get highly reactive. 
And this leads us to the second new moon of the month on the 31st of July. It's a new moon in Leo. Ooh, that's gonna be so interesting. And on that very same day, Mercury finally goes direct. It's gonna be in Cancer when it goes direct. But the bottom line on the 31st and for the entire month of July, we get to look at ego, we get to look at power, we get to look at facing fears, we get to look at do we project our own issues onto other people and then get mad? Does that make us highly reactive? So fascinating during this month. Please breathe a lot and try to stay grounded. To summarize the astrological patterns for July, remember it's a big month with these eclipses. So we have the first eclipse, which is a total eclipse, on July 2nd. It's a new moon in Cancer, working with Mars and Leo. We have Mercury getting ready to go retrograde at that same time in Leo. And then Mercury finally goes retrograde on the 7th. So during that first half of the month, Mercury and Mars are working together. Watch what you say. Think with harmony and peace and happiness. Try to keep your sense of humor. Then we have Mercury retrograding back into Cancer mid-month. And then we have that great big full moon on the 16th. And on the 16th, the full moon in Capricorn working with Pluto, we're going to be looking at our power issues and we're going to be looking at our ego issues. And so fascinating, that's a partial eclipse. That leads us to the second new moon of the month on the 31st when Mercury goes retrograde so much incredible learning for us in July. Stand tall, be strong, and keep your confidence connected to your heart. In other words, infuse it with love. Remember, other people might be reactive, but you don't have to be. You can flow with harmony. You can manifest leadership on a higher level. And boy, do we need that. We need those examples, right? So I wish you a very happy July. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.